Hey everybody, Luxinda Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. I recently acquired a new to me glitter from Mr. Nola's Glitter. This is called Filet Junior, which means it's, I think, an extra fine or an ultra fine. Ultra fine. It's a metallic silver that is not holographic. And one of the things Rachel suggested it would be great for is the tacket method. So I thought, okay, let's do that. And I have here, this is a 30 ounce thick from Maker Flow. I have sanded it and washed it. But instead of spray painting it, I left it naked stainless steel and I covered it with two layers of Valine's Tacket over and over that I mixed with a little water just to brush it on more smoothly. Those layers have dried, it is now tacky, and I am going to do the Tacket method to apply our glitter. You get your bottoms. Okay, and now here's what happens next. Two to three fingers. We are just going to look at that. Wow. I haven't done this with a metallic flash glitter before, but wow, that's like chrome. Sparkly chrome, that's gorgeous. Listen to me, chrome. Where do y'all think I'm from? Where do you think I grew up? Just curious if anybody's placed my accent. I'm putting that in quotes. Because of course, I don't think I have one, but I know I do. <laughs> You're just rubbing the glitter down onto the tumbler. Some of it comes off, but the rest of it lies down flat so you don't end up having to cover it with as many layers of resin, for one thing, and so you get the beautiful, flat, shiny surface. If this were a holographic glitter, you would also get a holographic sort of a rainbow sheen, but this is not hollow. That's okay. I think this is gonna be gorgeous. Okay, and then final burnishing, full hand. Obviously, if you don't like the feel of glitter or whatever, you could wear a glove to do this. Some people use um, alcohol on a paper towel. I personally prefer this method. It's all, it's all one of those personal preference things, so whatever floats your boat. Wow. I just think that's beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so the next thing that's gonna happen is I will spray a layer of clear spray paint on here to seal this on, and then it'll be time for a layer of resin. Stay tuned. Oh, and this goes in my dump jar. Not gonna get rid of this. And we're back. Okay, this turned out so pretty. I just, I absolutely love it. I'm guessing that a lot of the flash doesn't show up and the chrominess doesn't show up on camera as well as it does here in person. Hopefully when we do the final sunshine shot, you'll get to see more of the uh, amazingness. <laughs> Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I am going to wrap this in vinyl. This is a new sticky sheet. It is a peekaboo, meaning that all of this will show through everywhere there's not ink. I'm gonna cut it down basically here and here. And I'm gonna try and do a seamless seam with this. I'll show you what I mean in a second. First, I'm just going to use my paper cutter and cut the vinyl down. So here.
Okay, now I will try and trim the top bit here. I could try cutting it down like Mal does with my blade at a slant. I don't know. I've never successfully done that before. I suppose I could give it a try anyway. Uh, let's deal with the bottom first. Start at the seam, or the seam area in this case, just so I know when I've been all the way around. You're gonna push the cup against the razor blade while turning it. You can either push it away from you to turn it or pull it towards you. I feel more comfortable pulling it toward me, uh, but it, whatever makes you feel better. And we're gonna run it against the razor blade all the way around. Let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna change my blade in my X-Acto knife before I try it. Fresh blade, we'll see if I can do this. That actually seems to have worked. Thank you, Mel. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm referring to Mallory over at Manny and Mel. I will link to their channel below. She does this much, much, much better than I just did. What I wanna do is make it look like there's really no break in the action, which means I need something to go here. Piecing these together can be a little tricky. I've done it before. It's not impossible. They are meant to line up, but they have this um, border around them from the printing process, so. So basically we have no seam, which is cool. I like that. Top is taken care of. I do feel like putting pinstriping at the bottom. Silver or some other color. It won't really even show. How about purple? So the widest is three millimeters. The middle width is two millimeters and the thinnest is one millimeter. Let's try the two millimeter and see how that goes. We are. What do we think? Honestly, I think it's gorgeous. I'm very happy with how this looks. Could you do further things to it? Sure you could. You can put somebody's name on it. You can put a big, I almost said Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I watch a lot of zombie. But I actually think this is beautiful just like it is. I'm not gonna do anything further with it. If you would finish it further, let me know what you would do. Again, please be kind. Not everybody has the same ideas as everybody else. Because there is a considerable amount of vinyl on here and a lot of edges and uh, the tape and everything, I am going to cover the entire tumbler with a layer of Quick Coat, the urethane sealer from CC DIY, Counterculture DIY, and that will ensure that nothing lifts when I put the final layer of resin on. The final layer of resin will be KS Liquid Stone Ultra UV Epoxy Resin, and I will mix into it some 504 glitter from Mr. Nola's Glitter. Next time you see this, should be out in the sunshine. Stay tuned.